All right, welcome back to my channel, everybody. This is your boy, Sean, here with Trucking Life with Sean. Mr. Chris Brown's over here in the uh, driver's seat. This is his third week training, right? Left at the traffic yep. light. It's his third week of training, of OTR training. You wanna get all the way over the left lane right here. We're down here in Jacksonville, Florida, and we are about to uh, head back to South Georgia. We just delivered our load, and now we've got a pickup in the morning, about 142 miles from here. Doesn't pick up till the morning, but uh, like I said, I started in Alabama this morning. Went down and picked him up, and then we came back. But uh, so I figured we're doing a little training session here. So I figured I'd do a little training on what uh, show you a little training that we do. That guy over there's on his phone. His hands free driver, hands free. <laughs> Look at that guy on his phone. Oh, okie dokie dokie. Anyway, so um, how's everybody doing out there? If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure that uh, you hit the like button and follow me because I put out videos every day trying to teach you something that CDL school will not teach you. Today's video, we're gonna talk about, um, I'm gonna talk here with, with Chris a little bit and really y'all too, about uh, defensive driving and how it's important to make sure that you're driving defensively. What I mean by that is the number one thing in driving out here and is staying focused, Chris, is staying focused on what you're doing paying attention to the road, because we have like an 80,000 pound, you know, an 80,000 pound missile back here. You know what I'm saying? So staying focused is a big, it's a big deal. By staying focused, I mean, paying attention to your surroundings, you know, looking at your mirrors, of course, but any distractions like using your phone, uh, you know, just, just in your seats, messing with the GPS, playing with the radio, uh, eating while you're driving, all this kind of stuff. Trying to make you a bloating sandwich. Don't have your feet up on the dash trying to clip your toenails. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you can you could do your toenails later on. But try to get your GPS set. Like, you know, we said it a while ago before we left. We looked at that. We have, uh, the good thing about this international is we can change the radio station right there on the, um, and turn the volume right there on the steering wheel so we don't have to worry about that. But, you know, Paying attention. Now, music to me is not a distraction. Okay, I, I listen to podcasts. I listen to all that because I'm listening. But I'm staying focused. So, and that's part of defensive driving, y'all, is staying, staying focused and staying, staying watching your, you know, your area. Uh, you know, you want to have your mirrors already adjusted and all that good stuff. The next thing I want to talk about safety driving. And I've went over this with you already a thousand times, but is maintaining a safe following distance. I cannot stress that drivers by keeping back. You see how Chris is staying back from out here. Because if you maintain a safe following distance from the vehicle in front of you, this gives you more time to react in case, you know, something sudden stops or emergencies happen, you've got time to react to get a, find a way out. Um, you know what I'm saying? So keeping that following distance is very, very good. Using these mirrors, use every one of these mirrors, you know, all the time. You wanna look at them regularly to be aware of the traffic around you. I wanna know who's behind me, who's left of me, the right of me. Especially be mindful of like the blind spots, Chris. You wanna you wanna watch out for those as trucks, you know, they have, these trucks got bigger blind spots in their vehicles. So people can get right up on you and you don't even know it, but if you're constantly looking in your mirrors, you'll know, hey, that guy's riding right there. Sometimes you might see him coming out, but you're, you're, you're paying attention to your mirrors. Another thing that you'll learn to do over time if you don't do it already, is anticipate what the other drivers are gonna do. By paying attention to their lights, their, their blinkers, Head movement. Their head movements, exactly, that's a good point. Head movements, uh, are, are, are they falling asleep? Are they going in and out? So a lot of defensive driving is watching other people, people watching or whatever you wanna call it. You know, If you see a driver's up there is distracted and he's going in and out of lanes, you might not wanna pass him right this second, you know what I mean? Or get a good run and get past him real quick, but put some distance between you and him. But just anticipate, anticipate the drivers and their mood, you know, what they're gonna do. Another thing that's gonna sound stupid is obey the speed limits. It's just don't speed. You know, you know, speeding increases the risk of accidents, especially for big trucks like this. I can add one thing: watch your headlight or uh, brake lights up ahead. Yeah, definitely. Way up in front of you. Definitely. Like we talked about today, you start seeing brake lights up there, you know it's time to slow down. Yeah, you know it's time to slow. No time to slow down. So, and as far as speeding goes. Just cause the speed limit says 55 miles an hour doesn't mean that you should go 55. You gotta adjust for weather, traffic, you know. So, some people say take five, but take whatever you need to take. You know what I'm saying? Like if you need to just slow down sometimes, going slow, that's the best advice I could give you. 
is going slow. You know what I'm saying? Just slow down. You ain't gotta run with the crowd. You ain't gotta run. What does it mean? Go slow. Go, you know, if you need to go slow, go slow. That's that's my, my big thing. You wanna avoid aggressive driving. You know, it's real easy to get upset with drivers and, and stuff like that, but you don't wanna you don't wanna tailgate nobody. You don't be weaving in and out of traffic. And road rage by itself, that's a whole other subject I can talk about, but that's just being dangerous. But being calm, patient, and just being courteous. Let people in, let people out. Hey, you know, come on in, come on over. You got this, let them on in. You ain't gotta beat every person around you. This is not a race. You're not in the competition. So being a defensive driver will work out to your advantage by, so you wanna go this way, yes. This traffic pattern's all screwed up here. Now it's looking like this is going to take us through um, the back roads. Normally you take I-10 to 75 up, but it looks like it's going to go ahead and take us on in. There ain't going to be another loves going this way, is there? Nope. I was thinking about the way I was going to go, which you, we can still go that way. Let's just, um, I don't know what's going to be quicker. Whichever you want to do, you can either take these backwoods, which I've took this way. It's a good four lane that takes you all the way out that way. A couple towns, or you can stay straight on the interstate. Whatever you want to do. Doesn't matter to me. Go this way, change the scenery. Sounds good to me. You gotta have a place to stop. Yeah, we, we, we'll find a place to stop. I know if I have to, there, I know there is a love 20 miles from this place. So if we have to go park over there, no, we can't, we can't, we can do that. So anyway, so what we're talking about is defensive driving here. You know, you want to be mindful of weather conditions too when defensive driving. You know, you want to adjust, adjust your driving to, you know, when the rain, like I was saying, the ice, any bad weather conditions, just slow down. I call it driving smooth. You ever heard me say that before? Yep. Being smooth, which is don't, don't get on your brakes real hard, especially in the winter and the rain. Be smooth on the brakes. Be smooth on the accelerator. Don't press the gas so hard. Be smooth when you're changing lanes. No worky jerky. Just be a smooth operator. <laughs> but, uh, and then, you know, taking care of your truck. That's part of defensive driving, making sure you get your PMs done. Like we got those tires done today. We need to get it. We, we do need to go ahead and get a uh, alignment this week. We need to get that lined up. You know, making sure that we keep oil in our truck, which we're, you know, a little, a little low on oil. So I need to get some oil tonight and put in there. Um, things like that. You know what I mean? Just paying attention, doing your pre-trips, making sure your lights are good. I know a driver that, he, I, you know, I don't do it like he does it, but in the winter time I do it, but he does it all the time. Every time he picks a trailer up, he goes around with Windex and he cleans all his trailer lights, marker lights all the way around that thing. You remember how we picked up a trailer the other night? It was really dim. Yeah. That's just cause it was thick slime on it. What we should have done is got out and cleaned them lenses. He cleans that and he cleans the DOT tape too. I do it in the winter a lot you have to cause it builds up all that sludge and that ice, but you know, keeping that safe is a good deal. And planning your route, Familiarizing yourself with your route before starting your journey. Know where you're going. Anticipate different traffic patterns, and you know, be a, be be prepared for road closures. But the main thing, a lot of main things, defensive driving. But stay in calm and stressful situations. When traffic, don't let traffic bother you. You know, when you're on a tight run, try not to let it bother you. Try not to get stressed out. Arguing on the phone, arguing with people, and getting stressed. You know, I don't I don't like doing that either because it gets you. That's when you make mistakes. So a calm driver is a safe driver. So try not to get stressed. If you get stressed, pull over, go for a walk. But that's that's my, that's some tips today on defensive driving. I appreciate you watching this video uh, all the way to the end. Listen, if you're good looking for a company to work for, come to Rosedale Transport, numbers at the bottom of the screen, 706-226-1003. Ask for Tina, tell me boy Sean sent you. They hire right out of school. Also, they, got, they hire experienced drivers. You've got at least six months experience, they're gonna put you in a good truck, $4,500 mile, $4,500 sign-on bonus. You get $1,500 your first week, $1,500 in 30 days, another $1,500 in six months. 80% of the fleet got brand new trucks. So let me tell you, this, this is a brand new driver out of school, right? His first truck, this is gonna be his truck. It's got 100,000 miles on it, 24 International. You can't beat it, man. Most of the, most of the, the runs here are drop and hook. It's a great place to work. They treat you like family, treat you respect. So call the number today. Let's get trucking. I appreciate you watching today's video. I'll see you next one. Let's get it. Let's get it.